The next step is a symbolic representation. And in our program, this is sometimes called the area method. Uh, I'm going to now draw a square that looks something like this. And here I will put a 10 plus 1. And here I will put a 10 plus 2. And the 10 multiplied times the 10 will give a 100. The 10 multiplied times the 2 will give a 20. The 1 multiplied times a 10 will give a 10. And the 1 multiplied times a 2 will give a 2. Also, this is a partial products method. So to get the answer for this, a student would be expected to say there's 100 plus 20 plus 10 plus 2, and the answer is 132. I want students to be able to now directly connect the symbolic representation to the pictorial representation, and you should be able, as a teacher, to be able to uh, help them connect that by multiple repetitions of this kind of uh, of this kind of strategy. Also remember that we still have the concrete representation.